Here's Annabelle. She's back. It's the kind of doll you don't want to give to the kids. And good morning. Our Hollywood happening today looks at Annabelle creation, the prequel to the 2014 successful Annabelle. Most of the story is set in the 1950s around the tragic death of a young girl whose parents, the Mullins, played by Anthony LaPaglia and Miranda Otto, who are now depressed and lonely. They invite six young orphan girls and their guardian nun to live with them. Anthony, your character, uh, Sam Mullins, is uh, a doll maker yes. in this movie. It's a prequel. We, yes. go, we go back to the, this is the original, really, story. Mm. And some people are saying it was all your fault as a doll maker that you created Annabelle, but that's not correct, is it? Well, I mean, you know, I didn't create, I didn't create the <laughs> doll spirit, knowing yeah. it would be possessed by demonic spirits. <laughs> yeah. I didn't channel that into the doll. You channel I that, tried no. to, you know. So it's, don't, don't, don't blame uh, no, it's not my Anthony's fault. character. Though I'm happy to, if you really want to blame me, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Yeah. We see your characters, um, the parents of a beautiful little girl that uh, suffered this tragedy. They're living a pretty normal life, would you agree? Mm. Yeah, yeah, kind of idyllic life mm -hmm. in some way. Yeah. yeah, it seems all sunshine and roses. Until Annabelle comes into the scene. Yes. Mm. Well, until the car. The car is the. Uh, the car. First yeah. Thing yeah, that that's happened. the pivotal the car, moment. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, you hear these stories about the paranormal activities in houses like this, uh, and it's difficult for me to believe that this doesn't happen. I believe in some of it to an extent. Yeah, I've definitely extent, been in yeah. houses where, like, even my dad's house I find really spooky. And I know when I used to babysit my brothers and sisters, once they went to bed, I would spooky. be really frightened in this house. But then I had a taxi driver one time tell me that the house had originally been, because it's a big old house, had been all these different lodgings and all these strange people had lived there that it had all well, been like these separate really. apartments. I was like, that's there's a like weird in vibe in that you know, house. In yeah. Australia, they have a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, I, could, I mean, you know, I definitely like, there's different environments that I walk into some make me uncomfortable, some make me uncomfortable, or yeah. comfortable. Um, but uh, the paranormal in general, I, yeah, I'm more of a science guy. Yeah. I need more yeah. proof. Yeah. You know, there's, there's so much of it out there. Why is every video so sketchy? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Everybody's got a cell phone with a camera now. It's like. You know, one of the things I really liked about the film, of course, the special effects are special. But the house itself, the I thought, house. was a character. I know. The house was amazing. It was built on, uh, in a soundstage, the whole house. On Warner mm. Brothers' lot. You could lot. literally live in it. And um, they did an amazing job with the, you know, the uh, aged patina. Like, that house felt like it had been closed down mm -hmm. for, you yeah. know, decades. To the point where you could see, like, the dust kind of, you know, going through the light. This is our new orphanage. It's as big as a castle. Feel free to use the house as you see fit. Mrs. Mullins and I stay down here. Your rooms are upstairs. Locked. And it stays that way. Hello? You're the moon's daughter, aren't you? Can you help me? What do you need? Janice says she's seen your daughter. My daughter has been dead for a very long time. She was taken from us at an early age. We prayed to see our beloved girl again. The contact started small. But then it wanted permission to move into a doll so that it could be with us forever. We said yes. After the Annabelle doll made a chilling cameo in The Conjuring, 
It became clear to filmmakers Annabelle was ready to haunt more innocent souls. Personally, I'm not a big fan of horror films, but Annabelle creation is not only scary, it's entertaining. At my screening, the audience was shouting at the screen, which added some humor. This is a thriller that really works. It's rated R and I, my grade, I gave it a bewitching B. And Warner Brothers was kind enough to send me some articles that you may want to use and if you go to the Mullins home to ward off the demons. Well, also opening today, a biography drama, The Class Castle starring Woody Harrelson and Naomi Watts, the animated adventure, The Nut Job 2, Ingrid Goes West, a comedy drama, and finally, The Only Living Boy in New York starring Kate Beckinsale and Pierce Brosnan. I'm gonna see you right here next Tuesday on The Morning Blend with the director of Annabelle Creations, David Sandberg.